it's Chloe and today I'm making dinner and also vlogging it um, and I really don't have a recipe again that I'm working with but I wanted to make a dairy free so vegan cheese and like potato crisps to have with it fries kind of um, so I've already started to kind of speed the process up um, because my boyfriend Riley told me my video was too long. Whatever. And I have a sweet potato that I already, okay, so this is like a really good tip that helps me so much whenever I'm roasting potatoes because potatoes and other root vegetables really like beets or something, I feel like they take so long to roast. Like you put a potato in the oven and you come back in like 45 minutes and you're like, mm, could go a bit longer, honestly. Like that's craziness. And so what I always do is stab my potato a ton of times with a fork or a knife, put it in the microwave for like three minutes, whole, but stabbed. And it just steams a bit on the inside and that makes it like pre-cooked almost. And then when you bake it in the oven, it's already like a bit tender, but is able to get just really crisp on the outside which I think really speeds up the process. So that's what I've done to a really large sweet potato. My mom and I went to Costco last week and I got a bag of sweet potatoes there. And they're sweet potatoes, let me show you one of them. They're each so big. Like look at this sweet potato in comparison to my face. Absolutely huge. Um, but yes. So in a pan right now, I have one of those sweet potatoes that I did the steamed microwave thing with, and then fresh herbs, and I used rosemary, thyme, and oregano, and it smells so good, and a little bit of sea salt, but I'll season it more afterwards as I see fit. Uh, and I'm actually doing oil-free cooking tonight too, just because I'm on the healthier train anyway, so might as well go all in. Um, so pre-steaming it like that will really help it crispen out on the outside as well without oil. So I'm just putting it straight in, no oil. Might add a bit of water later. I don't know, we'll see how it's going. And it's at 350. And we'll see how long those take to bake. And then in a pan, I'm currently sauteing half of an onion, half of a jalapeno, and like four cloves of garlic. And I'm really caramelizing them, but again without oil, so I just keep using like a little bit of water. The water will help release like a lot of the flavor from those onion garlic jalapenos, but then as the water evaporates, it gets a bit of color and I add a bit more water and like keep the process going. So no oil use, but like look how caramel the onions are already becoming. Um, so I've got going right now and she's cooking and I'm hungry I'm looking forward to this I had a coffee earlier that kind of I don't know if you guys have heard of the macro barista he's on Instagram um, I believe his name's Alex and I really like his posts because they're all macro friendly um, so like first off calories but then he also just gives really good specifics on carbohydrates, fats, proteins, um, and he does utilize sugar-free vanilla syrups and sugar-free cinnamon, cinnamon dolce, whatever the other Starbucks one is. Um, so if you try to avoid artificial sweeteners, not a lot of his recipes will work for you, but if you don't particularly mind artificial sweeteners or view them as like regular sugars should be a treat and used rarely, um, which is kind of the way I approach it. Like, I, I don't maybe think it's any worse for you than regular sugar is that we eat because it's, like, not any less processed, certainly. Um, but regardless, I had a really good s'mores coffee that was done his style. Um, so you should look it up if you're interested. I think it was, like, 85 calories, and it was tasty. But that's, like, the last thing I had that was in any way food or calorie related. And that was at like 3 p.m. No, earlier, 1 p.m. Um, and I just really haven't eaten a ton today. 
so I'm so ready for this food. And then for the rest of the cheese sauce, so there's so many recipes for like vegan cheese um, or just dairy-free cheese sauces because that's really what my goal is. Sorry, I just wasn't sure the camera was even on. It is. So, tastes cheesy, isn't cheese, has the consistency of cheese. I'm starting with probably about half a cup of soaked cashews. And you can either soak your cashews like an hour to two hours or overnight is a really fair way to do it. Or you can like speed soak them if you just realized you want soaked cashews for a recipe. Um, and just use boiling water and pour it over like a cup of cashews for 30 minutes even 15 minutes like it'll really soften the cashews and basically the difference that makes in recipes where you want it like cheesy or creamy is that instead of having like gritty little pieces of nuts you'll have like a really smooth like nut butter basically and this just makes it without having to actually like you know like how they make peanut butter is absolutely like pounding it like you, I'm just making this in a blender so this is a great way to make a really smooth sauce and then I'm also going to use nutritional yeast, and if you want to try nutritional yeast, but don't want to like invest, because they have canisters of nooch, which is also what it's called, um, that are very expensive, but so worth it. They're like huge and will last you years, probably, literally, depending on how much you eat it, a year maybe, but on Amazon for like 15 bucks, like a great deal. But Trader Joe's sells these bags, which aren't small at all, four ounces, and it's powder, so that's a lot for under three dollars. I think it was like two eighty nine maybe. And nutritional yeast has a really naturally cheddary flavor, or nutty at least. Um, and so it's a great use in kind of vegan or dairy free cheeses because it brings that really nutty flavor that cheese has that's hard to mimic without cheese. Because you can get that consistency without cheese, but the nooch really brings out the like cheesiness. And then I'm also going to be using these caramelized onion, jalapeno garlic in the sauce. Just again to add not only that orange color, but just more richness and flavor. And I'm drinking raspberry lime spindrift, which is my favorite flavor. My brother tried some the last time I was with him the other day. And he said it tasted like dirt, which is really rude, but I think it's because it just really tastes like actual raspberries, not like raspberry syrup. So if you're expecting something sweet, maybe don't drink this, but it's literally nine calories for the whole can because it's just the fruit and the sparkling water. I love Spindrift. Sponsor me. I love you. I love you. It's so good. Um, it's been on my mind but mainly because my roommate and I just watched a video of it. And it was a Jacqueline Forbes Facebook video, and it was her going over doing a Lush skincare routine for 30 days straight, only Lush products. Which first off, when I think of like pretty much any skincare routine or regimen that you do is like something you purchase, you know, regardless if it's like Rodin Fields, Proactive, even just like a Neutrogena, like set, like it's like you know, you use the cleanser, the moisturizer, maybe a spot treatment, like it's supposed to go together. But I do not do that. Like the products I use range so much. I literally use a billion different products. And I think that's the majority of people, just because like you kind of either collect things, you buy things like on a whim, you're like, ooh, that scrub looks good, I'm gonna buy that. But like regardless, I mean, it works for me. I'm not opposed to doing that. I found it like, first off, just really interesting because like, it probably helps your skin to have a very consistent income of material and chemicals and lack thereof, which is the second part I wanted to go into. I'm sure it would be hella expensive to buy all of those products from Lush because she literally, like, check out this Jacqueline Forbes video of her Lush 30-day skincare routine. It was, like, a cleansing balm her face wash, moisturizer, spot treatment, toner, face mask, face scrub, lip scrub, 
two different chapsticks and it all looked fantastic like no judgment it's I want it but I'm sure it'd be so expensive but the thought of just having one consistent brand that I use consistently every day every night only like not any different types of toners or face masks or spot treatments or because I use just such a hodgepodge of like current things in my routine but I don't know I've just been thinking about it a lot and the chemicals thing I like the idea of using this really organic kind of natural thing that you see with Lush um, and I just love Lush already but that's been on my mind a lot because I love Lush is smelling so good I wish you guys could smell this also so like I have the cashews the nutritional yeast I'm gonna add the caramelized onions and then at the end I'm just gonna like kind of pulsate in the other half of the jalapeno so it stays fresh and kind of crisp and then I have a ton of herbs from the garden and so my grandparents are so sweet when I was home from Memorial Day they built me and my roommates these like three garden beds boxes almost like they're like they look like maybe two shoe boxes in length and height and they literally have parsley oregano mint thyme rosemary sage lavender patchouli cherry tomatoes heirloom tomatoes and then also like this little beautiful flower pot with petunias it's gorgeous but Fresh herbs, like I haven't had fresh herbs. I obviously have consumed them, but I haven't grown them, been able to use them in my own cooking consistently. And like a lot, you know, like just going to Kroger and buying parsley for freaking one seventy nine a bundle. Like then all you have is parsley. But like, ugh, it smells so good. And dill, that's what I missed. I grabbed a lot of dill because I think a lot of cheeses are kind of like dill related. I just love dill. But... I'm really excited about these fresh herbs. I think they're going to make a big difference. subscription can be every other week so twice a month for $19 so $38 total and you get a box like literally the size of a kitchen sink full of like misfit produce so produce that is either ugly like look at this freaking leak I got it was because it's probably bent and it's like overly large and so they couldn't sell it like Kroger so instead, they send it to me for 19 bucks. You get the leak. I got zucchinis that are actually perfect. I don't know what's wrong with these at all. Jalapenos, that's where they came in my dish. It smells so good. Potatoes, loads of potatoes actually. I seriously like can't even put them all. So many potatoes, which are always getting handy. And potato leek soup. I got loads of mangoes that are like so perfectly ripe like look how tender that is that's the ideal mango this isn't a misfit it's perfect um mandarins or clementines is there a difference i don't really know um acorn squash i got so much food and more than that that's just what i haven't eaten yet and for 19 dollars, 38 dollars total and they just get delivered like I love that about produce because it's so easy to stock up on like beans or pasta or things that don't go bad and they're like 79 cents for a can of beans you know so you buy them you can buy like five of them it's nothing you have them but the like fresh produce is much harder for me to like at least personally keep up on like I'll so quickly I'll just hit the end of the week and realize literally all I have is canned beans and I'm like that's good So, very excited about that. It's only been my second box because, like I said, they've just become available in Ohio. Um, but I'm very happy about it so far. I'm very excited to be consuming more of them. Uh -huh. 
So look at these caramelized onions. Pretty much all of the liquid's gone. So caramel, no oil, oil free. And it's so goopy. Like look at that smear. I could rub this on my body. This is probably what Lush is made out of. This is so beautiful. So I'm gonna put this in the blender. I have that half cup of cashews in there already. Soaked cashews, recall. Okay, so right now, half cup cashews that are soaked, half a caramelized onion, half a jalapeno caramelized, um, a good bit of garlic, and going to add nutritional yeast, probably, I don't know, maybe a quarter cup, yeesh. And then, original unsweetened almond milk it is, and I'm just going to add enough to kind of make it blend. I'm not going to worry about it being like max creaminess right now, I can always add more. Let's go. I can't really see it well. It's looking great. I'm gonna finish the cheese sauce, pull the potatoes out of the oven, and show you guys the final product shortly. Okay, everybody, my sweet potato fries with vegan cheese sauce are finished. And I just pulled them out of the oven. Here's the final result. These are the fries, they're beautiful. Look how nice the herbs look on them. And really, no oil with that steam trick. They turned out so crisp. And then this cheese sauce, which, let me show you how gooey it is. Like that, can you believe, dairy-free. Cashews, nooch, I added Garlic powder, paprika, chili powder, curry powder, salt, pepper, all those fresh herbs I showed you before, almond milk, and a bit of chipotle Tabasco, which I think makes it have that really nice kind of rich smoky flavor. And it's hot. But it's also really good. So make it and let me know how it turns out. If you've watched this far, comment. Should have waited because I think I burnt my tongue. Bye. See you next Friday.